So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code this side. And today I'll be solving another POTD. Okay, so today's problem is count pairs whose sum is equals to x. So the problem is of easy type, but it still allows you in a good company, Amazon, right? Okay. Let's see the, what is the problem saying. So the problem says that we have been given two linked list. You can see the link list here: 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 12, 13. And you have to give me the number of pairs number of pairs a comma b such that a is in english one this is my english one and b is my english two this is my english two right and a plus b is equals to equals to x x is also given to you as input right here x is 15. so if we find it what are the pairs you can look out for you can see that 2 comma 13 is such a pair right after that 3 comma 12 is also such a pair after that 4 comma 11 is also such a pair right okay so what is the number of pairs it is three pairs right so your answer would be three so very easy problem right very easy problem let us look at the approaches so there are two approaches that i could figure out for this problem First one of them is brute force, right? As usual, brute force. So what does brute force tell us? Brute force tells us traverse linked list one, right? Inside it, second step, traverse linked list two right that is nested loops okay nested loops using uh, traversal okay and if the condition satisfies answer plus plus otherwise just return answer here right this is the brute force approach so what is happening is i'm standing at one i'm seeing if one plus 11 is equals to 15 no one plus 12 is equals to 15 no one plus 13 is equals to 15 no I went to 2, 2 plus 11 equals to 15, no, 2 plus 12 equal to 15, no, 2 plus 13 equal to 15, yes, so answer plus plus answer becomes 1, after that going to 3 and repeating the same step of 11, 12, 13, going to 4 and repeating the same step of 11, 12, 13, 5, 11, 12, 13, 6, 11, 12, 13, right, and at last return my answer, that would be 3, so what is the type of lexity, as you can see, I'm traversing, uh, this loop is, first loop is running O of and one time and one is the length of this loop loop let's suppose and n2 is the length of this loop right o of n1 for this o of n2 for this so it is inside it so it will be o of n1 n2 right um that is uh, n square if n1 n2 equals to n so n square okay so what is the space complexity here it is o of one because we are not using any extra space right but let us look at the optimized approach okay optimized approach so the optimized approach tells me that either list 1 or list 2 store the elements in a data structure. Let's say you can store in set or in map. That is your wish. You can store in set, you can store in map. And what you will do is you will traverse the other list. Such as suppose you took all the elements of list 1 and inserted them into a set. Now traverse list 2. Traverse. Right. And now because you wanted a plus b equals to equals to x you have got two uh, b from 2 so b will be equals to x minus a right or a is equals to b uh, x minus b right so if somehow you find a in this data structure your answer is got right so for example the set data structure here is set will contain 1 2 3 4 5 6 right and your second english is 11 12 13 you have to find for 15 right you have to find for 15 so what you will do you will traverse the linked list this one first you got 11 for 11 15 minus 11 is 4 15 minus 11 is 4 you, you see in the data structure is 4 present you will see yes 4 is present here so you will increase your answer first your answer was 0 it will change to 1 right you move to the next one you see 12 is 12 existing Yes, 12 is, 12 is existing. 12, 15 minus 12 is 3. Is 3 existing in the set? Yes, here it is. Answer plus plus 2. Okay. 
Move to 13. 13 will give me 15 minus 13 is equals to 2. 15 is coming from the x value, right? x is equal to 15, right? 15 minus 13 is 2. Existing. So it will be changing to 3. After that, I reach the null and I end the loop and I got my answer as 3. I will return that safely, right? Now, what is the time complexity for this? So first, you have to traverse the n1 or n2, right? This is n1, this is n2. First traversal to store in the set, right? So O of n1. And the second traversal to uh, traverse this linked list, so n2, right? Okay. This can be changed to O of n only, right? And the space complexity is either O of n1 or O of n2 because you're storing either the elements of the first list or the elements of the second list, right? Okay, so this was the standard phase complexity of this and I hope that the problem was really easy for you to understand and if other questions are left, I'm open to answer them in the comment section. Please reach out to me. Also, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. Now, let us look at the code really fast, right? Okay, we have been given head, no, head 1, head 2 and x, right? So first, I will create my set and let us keep the value int there because I just need the value and let us name the set as st as usual. Now, I will create a node temp to traverse the first linked list to store the elements into the uh, set now while temp right simple traversal what i will do is st dot insert temp data temp will become equals to temp next right this will store all the elements of temp, uh, linked list one into the my string uh, set right now other answer is my answer will be zero. I will make my temp equals to head two for the traversal of head head two linked list. That is linked list two. Now while temp right, my value is equals to temp data right. Now if st dot find x minus well right. Is equals is it not equals to s dot n that is the element is present into the linked list then answer plus plus oh sorry and then read on your answer right hope this will work let's see compile on it oh there has been some error oh okay temp equals to temp next is done not done temp equals to temp next so it is running into an infinite loop Let's see now what happens. Oh, again, a mistake. It would be sorry, guys. And let's check it now. Oh, okay, running fine for companion. Let's try it for submit also. In the meantime, I would request you guys to subscribe to my channel, and you can see the pointer going up. You can see it is done correctly. And thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. So see you soon. See you tomorrow. Till then keep coding. Have a nice day. Bye.